Hello, how are you? In this video, we will learn together how to navigate from one screen to another. For the demo, we will create a simple login user interface as shown. There are already several login UI videos on this channel, but this time we will use Kotlin and Jetpack Compose. To make it easier to understand Jetpack Compose, we will start with a simple design first, then in the next stage we change it according to the MVVM model view view model architecture. Now let's go ahead and implement that into our Jetpack Compose applications. Please note, I am using Hedgehog version of Android Studio. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project with an empty activity, and I'm going to call this one Melogenup. All right. So let's start with the first composable and the login screen. Therefore, I'm going to get rid of greeting as well as our greeting preview. What we need is a login screen and this one will be a composable. Okay. So basically what I want to have is I want to have a screen where there are two field. Where the user can enter his name and password. And a button. Once we click on that button, we go over to a different screen. Here I am adding to mutable state for username and password. Here this is just a different way of writing by mutable state of either way is fine. Here this will be the column. I need to import column for this to work. I'll keep it simple by sometimes importing. Or copy pasting code here as I have an explanation about it in another video on this channel. Inside the column we will add to text field for username and password, also one button for login button. Let's try first what it looks like. We can see here there are two devices. The first is an emulator and the second is a real Android phone connected via USB connection. I'll try it on a real Android phone and I'll cast it to this PC. Alright, for password entry. Let's just copy this for the second text field. Then we adjust or add several parameters that are suitable for password entry. Next, let's add a button. Let's keep this onclick empty at the moment. Now let's also set up a preview, so that we can see how the screen is going to look like. So I'm just going to use the add preview keyword here in order to then display the composable in the split screen. I think we should copy this modifier to the username text file. Our login screen is completed. Before we continue creating the second screen, we could put this composable into a separate file and it would actually even make sense. So what we can do is we can create a file called login screen. And this will just be a Kotlin file. 
And then we can move our entire first screen composable into that login screen. Yes, you may move the preview as well. Next, we create a second screen. I named it the main screen. Copy this composable code from the login screen and paste it to main screen. In this main screen, we only need one button and a welcome text. Next, we're going to finally set up navigation with Compose. I thought it was time to look at the documentation once again, because there is a guide as to how to do navigation with Compose and you can check it out. You can see the Kotlin code. So the first thing that it says, add this dependency into our build Gradle file, so let's go ahead and just do that. Therefore, let's copy this piece. Go inside of the module Gradle, you will find the dependencies. So now in here we can paste it. Gradle sync, this will take time and let's just wait. I am going back to main screen or our second screen. Just corrected this button text. Going back to the documentation. As always you can find the link in the description of this video. Let's copy this code. Now I'm inside of my main activity. Set up a new composable function, named it my login demo app. Then paste the code from the documentation here. So this one here, the nav controller, remember nav controller. So the nav controller is the central API for the navigation component. It is stateful and keeps track of the backstack of composables that make up the screens in your app and the state of each screen. So what is the backstack? I just quoted from the documentation. In being a stack, the back stack is a last in, first out data structure. The nav controller, the back stack is a last in, first out data structure. The nav controller therefore pushes items to and pops items from the top of the stack. Before adding nav host, I should move this screen preview to login screen file. I am now in main activity. Next, let's add nav host. The nav host requires a nav controller, which is why we set up a nav controller above. And then we can pass that nav controller to the nav host. And we need to define what the start destination is. It is basically saying which composable, so which screen is your start screen. I will start with login screen. Next we need to define the composable details. Let's set up those composables. So composables you see here the composable that it requires or offers us is with a root and some arguments if we want those. Let's just start with the root which will be our login screen. And then let's add another composable which will also have a root. And that would will be the main screen. Now we need to add curly braces after in both cases. Otherwise it will crash. So the root can be used to identify a screen. From anywhere in the app, just like we have set a start destination for the host. Before we call the different screens belonging to each composable. So next, we will define the button actions for each screen. In order to do that, we need to go over to our login screen here for example. Here we need to do two things in order to navigate via a button. From one screen to another. First, we need to pass the code or the function that we want to execute. And in this case I'm going to use an anonymous function or a lambda. So navigation to main screen should be some code that I want to execute that will basically require no parameter and will return nothing. We need to call this function inside of the button on click. So when the button clicked by user it will navigate to main screen. Just add this on the preview function. As we will pass nothing on this function or let's just delete this function. Now let's do the same thing for the main screen. So we move over to main screen. 
and we say navigate to login screen here which will require no parameter but will also return nothing so now let's call this navigate to login screen inside of our on click let's go back to main activity inside of the nav controller in our login demo app composable which will take care of the navigation okay so our going to put here is our login screen and the parameter that i will need to pass is going to be our nav controller dot navigate and then i need to say to which route i want to navigate i'm going to navigate to the main screen route okay let's try this first and see how it goes it show nothing i forgot to call the login demo app composable let's fix it and try again looks better now but when i click the login button it moves to the main screen but is blank as we have not implemented what should happen with the main screen which we need Toto here. So basically we need to do the same thing here. And not say login screen but main screen. And this navigate back to login screen. Before we try, let's delete these and used import. Okay, let's test this. We can see then the navigation is working as expected. We just need to create a new Kotlin class file. And let's name it screen. So what should this class screen do? Well it should take care of individual roots. We've seen how roots work before. Where we just would use root keywords. By using previous method. We have the potential to experience errors. So what I can do here is I can use the sealed keyword. So it is used when it is known in advance that a type will conform to one of the subclass types. I'm going to do is I'm going to create two objecture. One for login screen second for main screen. This might be a little confusing at first, but you will see how we are going to use it. Now let's go ahead and create a new Kotlin file. That will basically handle the application. The reason is that the main activity should be the entry point. And then that activity should directly run our application which then runs our screen. So basically this application file will handle navigation. We will move the navigation that currently in main activity to this file. So copy this and paste it to the login app file. Change start destination to screen.login screen.root. This actually refers to the same value because we have defined it in the screen file that we previously created. We also have to adjust for this one. Okay, looks like this is correct. Then we move this variable to the main activity, like this. Then replace this with the loginapp function, which is the function we created in the loginapp file. Then delete the login demo application because it has been replaced with the same function in the loginapp file. Okay, let's quickly try this app. As expected, works as before. In the last part of this video, we will add an icon to the text field and toggle the password field using an icon. Please visit this GitHub, link is in the description. We will copy some code from here to make the video shorter. First of all we need to add some dependencies, copy from GitHub. Then paste it into the Gradle file as shown. In GitHub, let's go to Login Screen File.
let's go back to Android Studio and paste it into the login screen file. I think we're done copying all the icons. Okay, let's try this first. The icons are there but the Togo password does not work. I don't think we've copied this part. The visual transformation parameters, so let's just copy this. Paste it here, inside password text field. We need to do some import. Now, let's try again. Looks good. It's work as expected. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video is useful and see you in the next video.